Family Car Guy, and I am here today to talk about two things with you guys. Uh, the first one is I have not made a video yet about my wheels. I'm I'm taking a bunch of pictures, put them on Instagram. Uh, I'm sure I made a video with uh, wheels on the car, but I have not talked about them, so we're gonna do that quickly today, and then get to some exciting Corvette news, or at least I think it's exciting. Let's do it. So as you guys can see, these are aftermarket wheels. These are Grand Sport replica wheels. They are 275 in the front, and they are 315s in the back. And as you can see, they're absolutely ridiculously dirty. But um, 315s in the back, uh, these are Nitto NT555 G2s. They got fantastic reviews. Uh, the prior tires that I had on this car were the Continental Connie Pro Extreme Contacts, which I really liked. Uh, but I think that these are a little better grip, partially because they're wider, but also I just think like the tread is just better on these. So I really like these. Um, 17 inch, same as before. Uh, if you've seen any of my previous videos, which if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe because we are going to pick this channel back up and get the content cranked out. But anyway, family car guy, let's do this. So as you can see here, we have the logo in the middle. It is a sticker. So these are definitely aftermarket wheels, but I got a good deal online. They're exactly what I'm looking for. Um, and I wanted to be able to go to a 315 tire size to match what you see on a true 1996 Grand Sport, which you get the, the 315 tires that are wider than the stock tires. The saw blades come on, on the standard car with 285 with tires. So, and then with, on the Grand Sport, you also got the fender flare to accommodate the tires. This wheel actually has like a built-in offset, so you actually, the tires don't really stick out of the fenders on the stock, on the, on the normal uh, car, so that's pretty cool. So just kind of walking around a little bit here, you can see, a little brighter. As you guys can see that this car is super dirty, we are gonna definitely have to wash it. I don't know if we're gonna wash it tonight, but we'll definitely wash it quickly because it's terrible. Um, also, you can see the brakes better through these wheels, which I really like, and that's kind of, ultimately when I do a brake job, we're gonna go to red calipers. Uh, we either gonna paint them or do the covers. I know some people think the covers are cheap. I'm kind of on the fence. I think ultimately you gotta do what you like, um, but I'm definitely, one way or another, they're gonna be red. Um, also, the saw blades came with these plastic caps, which they're off the car now, but they basically just screw on top of the lug nuts. Um, and the reason why I took them off is because, or didn't put them back on, is because they are silver, and I wanted to get ones that are black uh, to match the rim there. So we'll be doing that as well, but I just thought I would give you guys that update. The car handles fantastically with these tires. Um, and we're gonna get this car hashtag track ready uh, so that's kind of the plan I wanted a car a tire that I could drive on the street and the track and not have to go back and forth so that was kind of my other reasoning for getting these tires and these wheels so that wraps that part of the video up all right guys wanted to talk about some Corvette news as well today so there is now a stage two Yanko package that you can order direct from the factory when you order a Corvette Grand Sport, brand new. So just found out about this this morning and I think it's pretty cool even though it is kind of a lot of money. So basically what it is, is the 6.2 liter V8 from the Corvette Grand Sport and the base Corvette for that matter, 460 horse, we all know this, will be upgraded to a 6.8 liter motor with a supercharger, putting out 1,000 horsepower total. It's gonna cost you 68,995, I think. I think that's what I remember reading. And 77,995 if you go with the automatic version of the Grand Sport, the previous prices for the six speed, or the seven speed manual, I should say. Um, and you can order it as a factory option, which is kind of a throwback to back in the day when uh, you could actually order uh, the Camaro. Uh, that's kind of the Yanko name, kind of came to fruition from what I remember um, as a Camaro factory option. Um, 
back in the early days of, of the Camaro. So anyway, um, I just think that's kind of a, a, a really high price tag when you think about you have to order a Grand Sport first, which is gonna cost you 60 to 80 grand, depending upon how you option it out. They recommend if you do the Yanko package that you get the Z07 package, so you get the upgraded brakes, you get the upgraded aero, suspension, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So you're spending basically almost 140 grand, which is more than now a ZR1. Now you are getting a thousand horsepower. Um, they also have a stage one package that um, is a smaller blower and you get 835 horsepower, much more respectful, of course, right? But um, so I found that interesting. There's only going to be 25 copies made. So, I mean, you do get the exclusive, the exclusivity, you get the badging, you get the, all the cool Yanko lettering and the key fobs and all the decor that you would get for that kind of a package, which I think is pretty cool. But I also think that it's kind of, I don't know, it's just a little bit much. I mean, if you like, if you're into that sort of thing, if you're into a kind of a piece of history, I'm sure you're going to see these things on Craigslist, Craigslist and eBay in the coming years because of the of um, how the limited number of units that they're even gonna put out. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. At the end of the day, I think, just from a personal opinion, whether you get a ZR1, whether you do this Yanko package, whether you do a Grand Sport and option it out or a Z06, you know, you do what you like. If it was me, if it was my money, I'd go get a Z06. I'd add the cooling, LG Motorsports does a cooling uh, package that kind of makes it look like the ZR1 where you put the the, the uh, heat exchangers right up there in the front grill and it's got the, the grill cutouts. It's kind of similar in style to a ZR1. Obviously it doesn't look nearly nearly the same, but it, in terms of where they're placed, it, that's kind of how it looks. Um, so you have the cooling and then there are plenty of packages, there are plenty of tuners out there um, that can get your Z06 to match the Yanko horsepower uh, all day, and I think for considerably less money. So, especially in the used car market, and that's kind of what my goal is, is eventually to get a C7 Z06 on the used market um, and get the cooling done, um, hopefully one with the Z07 package, and then get whatever upgrades I decide to do. I don't know if I, you know, probably a bigger blower, that kind of stuff, the pulley. Um, all that extra stuff, you know, and based on uh, used car values, I'm thinking that I should be able to do it for much cheaper than it would be if I were to just go buy a brand new Z06 or buy buy um, like one of the, some of the factory option packages out there. And that's just kind of my personal opinion. Obviously, on the used car market, if you see a car that's modified, especially if you can't verify the 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 aftermarket tuner and and all the build sheets and the specs and the things that they did um obviously if you're buying it via craigslist or ebay or or via dealership you always got to be wary when people do things themselves as as we know we all lose money on modifications but again we're doing this because we love it not because it's it's profitable so just kind of my two cents on on the yanko uh factory corvette option now and kind of what i would do if it was my money uh, we'll see you guys soon. That's going to do it for this video. Uh, it's me, the Family Car Guy. Please uh, like, please comment in, on this video. Tell me what you think. Tell me what your thoughts are on this new Yanko Corvette option. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. We've got plenty of Corvette content. It's a great summer here in Minnesota. Uh, and we've got plenty of car shows coming up uh, before the summer gets out. So we're going to be planning on doing more and more content and getting out and meeting more people and, and doing more fun things. Uh, in the C4 and in the Z06. So until next time, you guys stay blessed, and we'll talk to you later. Peace out.